Y'all, how y'all doing? Man, I wish I want to lend y'all some pictures of my uh, this is for Instagram or I'm a son. Happy Halloween of my um son's um makeup man. He did he did really good and uh he he gets it from his mama, don't you? Okay. So let's see. I hope y'all are doing well. Let's see if we can figure out what the current energies are, all right? Holy Spirit, what are the current energies for the collective in this hour? Alright, let's see. Alright, so we have Let's see right here. All right, we have the Ten of Swords. So there's a new you have a new path being laid out in front of you from great sorrow that you have been through all right and this new path is going to show itself to be everything that you have expected it to be all right everything you need to be we have to learn from our past to move forward to our new beginnings and sometimes we will have things that happen to us and we have to we need to start perceiving things differently. I've been telling y'all this for, for a little while now. We have to change our perception of things. We need to get out of a selfish energy that's like, oh, woe is me. Everybody's out to get me. Everybody is against me. Baby, ain't nobody against you. What happens is we end up being against ourselves. And so when you focus in on that energy, then that energy is what you manifest into reality. And that becomes your reality. So all of a sudden you start feeling attacked. You understand? And you don't, and you're not even understanding when you get in that energy of how powerful and how great you truly are in a humble way. We say this humbly, all right? But, let's see. Holy Spirit, you are welcome to build this place with your atmosphere. All right, let's see. Hold on, y'all. I got my little, got my little guidance to help me. Yeah, so it grates at speed from this path that you have went through, that has that you feel that you're actually changing. You're actually starting to see different. You're actually just starting to perceive different. And you're moving forward. And you're jumping in to energy of the Knight of Wands. This energy is very cunning. It's very courageous. It's very sexy, too, man, to be honest. you got it going on. Don't let nobody tell you no different, okay? And, um, and... And with this, you are actually, you're getting things done that need to be done. You're, you are starting to perceive different. You are starting to take control of your emotions to move forward with the things that you are trying to do in life, okay? And with the Knight of Wands coming up, sitting beside the Queen of Swords, this could also be taken as, you know, even because I will mess with a lot of love readings too, yeah, as we say it, it just falls out, all right? So... You got the King of Wands coming in, and you got the Queen of Swords, and this could be read as a love message too. 
if you are, um, if trouble is going on in your relationship world, or if you are, uh, looking for a partner, okay, you, you have somebody coming in, and, and this person is, they are very charming, they are very sweet, they are very, um, dominant, they are very controlling of their emotions, they have mastered their emotions, okay, and sitting beside her, we have the king of wands that fell out. So yeah, somebody is really stepping up. And I love how we were just talking about the, king, the, the knight of wands coming through. Very courageous, swift thinking, getting the job done. And then he sits beside the queen of uh, cups. And then right when we're talking, this could go into a different reading, like a love reading for somebody. Then we have the king of wands that falls out right beside the queen of cups. And we just had the Knight of Wands. So I do take this as somebody does have great love coming in. And this person is very stable. This person is the right person for you. If you know the person that I'm talking about, they're the right person for you. You have to let go of all the pain. Start perceiving things differently, okay? Everything you went through, you need to let it go. There's no time for jealousy. There's no time for envy. You went through everything to get you where you are today, my friend, okay? I just fell right out. Yeah, and there will be great celebration, all right? You will celebrate. You need to be thankful for the things that you have, all right? And this could be a relationship Maybe you went through some great pains and you're having, and now your relationship is starting to be rekindled, all right? Taken lead by the man stepping up and being courageous in what he does, and the female starting to control her emotions and not be so emotional and snapping at every little thing, you know? And y'all are snapping back into reality and learning how to love the way you should and how to be thankful for everything you got. I love how the family sits outside and their cups are in the um in a beautiful creation that the Lord made for us to remind him of our his love for us and to also remind him how he'll never flood us out again. Alright? The rainbow. Is he falling out? Yeah. So the lovers this is there is a great love. So somebody um, so yeah, it always turns into a love reading, <laughs> we've got, you know, because I'll do twin flame readings and stuff on the YouTube channel, and all that, and I do feel like, you know, that God is really working on me to help with that department with people, so, and it just always proves itself, man, because you just fall out together, alright, but, you will, you have had to face judgment within your relationship, okay, we got, are, this is supposed to be, it's, originally people were like Archangel Gabriel, but I don't, I, my intuition tells me it's not. I heard Archangel Raphael, and Archangel Raphael, because when I look at it, I just, the judgment card, Gabriel sits on top, he is the one to blow the trumpet, alright? And in this card, when some, I was reading somebody, and they were talking about Archangel Raphael, and I'm like, for even for me, myself, you know, because when you read cards, you read out of your intuition, you read with your spirit man. My spirit guide, my spirit man is the Holy Spirit, okay? But I was like, it never sat right that that was Gabriel out there, like, I just didn't feel it. And when, when it was presented to me as Archangel Raphael, I was like, oh, that makes sense. Archangel Raphael is all angels, okay? They're, there's a whole angel, angel infantry, infantry, they're all very powerful, they're all very special, okay, and they all have the expertise that they specialize in, you know what I'm saying, like, you might specialize in something that I don't specialize in, you know, so, um, Archangel Raphael is a healer of emotions, he specializes in, like, self-esteem, emotional state, and he will come in and, oh, oh, yes, I feel it. He will come in and he will uplift you, and he will help you to realize who you are, child of God, and to love yourself for the creation you were made to be, because you were created in the image of the Father, child of God, and there is nothing that can separate anything that brings, that the Lord brings together, okay, but do you see, this is like a picture and puts it of Adam and Eve, okay? But do you see how they're separated from each other? This reading, the more we get into the reading, it's, it makes me feel like maybe you're, may, this is a couple. 
this is a couple, and your love is being rekindled in this hour, okay? And, but Archangel Raphael, though you are separated from each other, look how, you see how the man's looking to the woman, but the woman's looking up to the heavens. That's how it's supposed to be, because we, the, the, the feminine is the male's crown. Okay, so, and I just, I just love it. I just love it. So in this hour, you do have the archangels working in your relationship. They are restoring and rekind helping you rekindle things. Things where, you know, quite possibly, you know, people were trying to, you were very defensive about. You were very defensive in this relationship. Maybe something happened. Maybe there was a betrayal. Maybe there was adultery committed. But the archangels are stepping in in this hour and they are help restoring you, my friends. All right. And God is giving you a cup. And again, I love this card because this card really shows the dub. When, when Jesus got baptized, uh, a John the Baptist baptized Jesus, okay? And when he baptized them, there was the, the heavens opened up and the Spirit of God came down on Jesus as a dove. And, and, and the voice of God was heard and said, This is my son who I am very well pleased with. And I love this card because the only thing I see when I see this card is how God is, his hand is, he's with you. And the message I always get when I see this card is the Lord crying out to you that he is proud of you. He is proud of these changes, of this growth you have stepped into. You are doing well, my friend, and the Father is so proud of you. And... I love it. The Queen of Swords fell out too. And y'all are sitting in your power, man. She She's getting the job done. Your girl is getting the job done. No fear. And if you are the feminine, you are getting the job done. You sit with power. You sit with authority. And ain't nothing going to cross you. Nobody is going to cross you. So why, why would you spend time cross, crossing yourself? And you have learned this. And this is why you have also stepped into your energy of controlling your emotions. Because you are learning. Not everything is uh, is as it seems, my friends. Let's see what the angels have to say. Holy Spirit, you are welcome to you. Oh, y'all, let me tell y'all, I took my kids to go see, I mean, that's freaking bunny rabbit, have me messed up. Bunny rabbits are my favorite animal. Not that bunny rabbit, uh-uh, I was watching my back across the street, I ran into the street, I had Michael Myers me explain, and this rabbit, man, I wasn't having it, I might, might see my baby walk right up there, and I said, mama got to go, because he, he looked at me, he's like, you know that, that look, and it's like, don't let him notice me, don't let him notice me, don't let him notice, oh my god, he noticed me. <laughs> I was like, Becky, I got to go. <laughs> I ran into the street, y'all. I was like, hey, y'all, come on now. I have now. We off in two streets, three streets over now. He's trying to tell me something. He got Michael Myers music playing. Yeah, homie, I know I can turn around. You right there. No, nah, we ain't doing that. Kids, we got to go. Mama, I want to go down this street. No, nah, baby, we going down that street. Now I go down that street in the same truck that was parked in front of that dude's house like that. And I was like, oh, dear God, thank, thank you, Lord, for opening my mind. That is not another truck. This is how it goes. Because I was worried about it being being there. And so I looked and there was a truck right there. Now I'm to the gas station. There's some nice little eye candy. Ooh, I like that. Anyways. Angels, what would you like to say to the collective? Oh, these are the angel cards I read from. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Yeah. You got a lot of growing to do if you hate on people. I know I can't see, but I can get the job done. Don't even try me. I get it done. 
Okay, where is it? I'm still learning all these cards, y'all. Uh, help me out. Place one. You get all the glory and all the love. Okay. So I love this because it has, like, I will actually bypass with this. Oh. This is my favorite reader, Mr. Elliot Oracle. One of them, okay? I really got to get, I uh, spent some time, I've been working a lot, but his book, I love it. He has great messages. He he teaches you, he helps to teach you how to read positive messages out of every tarot. Right. Alright, so it was two of one. Sorry, y'all, my brain is just tired. Alright. So the angelic message is, may your choices be thoughtful and timely. Yeah, so you're having to make, yeah, so you're making choices with this relationship. And the angels are telling you to keep them, keep your choices thoughtful. Don't only think about yourself, especially if you're a partner. You are, you don't belong to yourself no more, okay? So you need to understand that Mel belongs to woman and woman belongs to Mel when you become one. So you're supposed to be in a covenant where you can trust your partner. You can trust your inner being, your darkest secrets with your partner. And it doesn't matter how mad that you got at each other, the other partner is not going to go exploit the partner. You know what I mean? Be like, oh, blah, 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 blah. girl, let me tell you something. Becky, mommy, daddy. Yeah, you don't do that. Even the Bible says, man, depart. I, I, I can't, uh, my brain's tired, y'all. Forgive me. We're getting there, though. We're learning all this, aren't we? But, uh, to become one. So in that partnership, you have no business going to anybody and telling your partner, no matter how part mad your partner makes you, when you enter covenant, you enter sacred holy ground. You have no right to go and sit there and tell your best friends, tell your mommy, tell your daddy of your partner's deepest secrets. Now, if there is abuse, if that person is laying their hands on you, now, nah, you ain't allowed to stay in that. You need to speak. But other than that, you need to step out of your unshalando, remove it. You need to step up out of there. You don't do that. You're in it. You don't do that. So you need to be very thoughtful. Whatever y'all went through, so seeing the swords laid out at first, you know, like you're having to perceive different and there's reasons for this and this is helping your relationship grow. But always remember this. You don't go and you don't go tell people about your partner. They are supposed to be able to trust you. You understand? And if something has happened, maybe that's why the swords were in the back because you went against each other. You need to fix that. That needs to be reconciled. And y'all need to learn because obviously you didn't know no better or you never would have done it. Now you know better. You have no more excuses. So be thoughtful on what the other person is going through. It's not all about you, honey. Friend. That other person, no matter how wrong you think they are, they are hurting. And you need to consider that. And that other person needs to consider you. You're supposed to be able to trust your inner being with them to where you don't even have to think about yourself. All you think about is them because they got your back and all they think about is you. You feel me? All right. Now I got the Ace of Swords. Let's see. Yeah, I love this little, I love these cards, y'all, because they have, like, they'll tell you the meaning of the cards and they'll tell you the actual message from the angels with the cards. And these are the angel cards and I'm still learning them. So let's see what the actual angels have to say about the Ace of Swords for you. And it is reversed. All right, well, the angels, reverse or not reverse, the angels still pull out the same. May you have clarity of vision, accept the truth, act with justice, act with justice, and speak with honesty. So, whatever you're going through, okay, you need to be thoughtful of the other person. If this is you having to reveal something to your partner, you need to do that. 
And I'll give you, oh man, it's already in 19 minutes, but I'll give you a quick little testimony of something I have to go through. And I actually got, but you need to be thoughtful and justice, they're saying that justice needs to be pulled into the situation. So whatever you got going on, there's no secrets in the covenant. You're, you and her, there's no secrets. You're not allowed to keep secrets from your partner. I don't care what you've done. I don't care. Period. Okay? When it belongs to the Lord, it belongs to the Lord. But when you are in covenant with that person, and you went against them, you stabbed them in their back, you need to tell them. Right? I had an ex-husband. I'm going to try to keep this quick just to share. It was the most scariest thing, right? So, my friend Sean that passed away, it was when I actually got my chest piece. We slept together, all right? We slept together because I was having issues. It's no excuse, but I'm just telling you. I had some issues. He was having issues. And when he was tatting me, we just, me and Sean connected on many different levels. So it was hard for us to understand in this world that we grew up in that we were strictly friends, you know? So we would wander and do things with each other every now and then. Well, when I got with my ex-husband, I wasn't married yet. Um, I, um, my, he wasn't around, and me and Sean, we were best friends, we're, we're soulmates, not, soulmates aren't partners, they're like best friends, you know what I mean? Like, and me and Sean were soulmates, but I didn't know that at the time, and I slept with him, and I was like, you know, I just want to know there's nothing left between me and you like that, and there wasn't, and, um, and so, a month later, I found out I was pregnant. I was like, oh my god, I have to, I have to tell my husband. Like, you know, and people called me out, other people already knew about it, and they told 